Here with my man Jesse Vargas. Now, Jesse, I'm a little shocked with the uh, stoppage. I was not expecting Andre Ward to knock out Sergey Hill. Man, I didn't, I didn't expect it either. I think no one did. I think that uh, a lot of people thought and said that if someone would win by knockout, it would be cold. Mm -hmm. I said it once before. Yeah, we talked about that. You know, but this is boxing, and you get a lot of surprises, you know what I mean, that you just don't expect. So, uh, credit to Andre. He fought a terrific fight. Credit to Kovale because he also made it a very interesting matchup, you know what I mean, from the beginning to the middle of the fight. And then he started diminishing a bit, you know. Mm -hmm. It seemed like the body shots were really uh, taking a lot of steam away from Kovalev. And for that reason, you know, Andre was able to pick up. But he had all this planned out, you know. I was there commentating next to my buddy, the Carroselli, for HBO on, in the sad version, you know, the color commentating. And uh, we heard in the, in the after every round, Andre would want to know and find out what round he was in, you know, that way, because it was a game plan behind it, you know what I mean? He was in a press at a certain time, he was going to hit the body from certain rounds to certain rounds. That's the championship team, you know, uh, when you have all that calculated. And I do understand where Kovalev comes from, you know, him saying that he hit me low. I saw a few little shots. Some of them, some of them were low, some of them weren't. Uh, but at the end of the day, when you're in a fight, you can never turn your back or you can never expect the referee to come in and break you up or, or decide instantly whether it was a low blow or not. So as a fighter, you have to stay in the fight, make sure you're still uh, coming back with your shots. Because if the minute that you pause, the, the the referee will come in and will stop the fight and you just don't know what could happen. You know, as you mentioned before, Sergey claimed that he got multiple low blows. Do you feel that affected Sergey with the outcome of the knockout? I think it did affect him. It frustrated him a little bit and uh, also, also hurt him a couple of times. You know, a couple of low blows did hurt him. You know, I'm not saying all of them were, maybe a couple were, but, but um, ultimately he could never pause or expect the referee to come in, you know? And that's, that's what it was. That, that's what his, that was his problem. Do you think Sergey can? Do you think Sergey can bounce back from this? Definitely, definitely, he can bounce back from it. You know, he he, he wasn't given the victory. He, was, he, was, he lost the fight, but against Andre Ward, he's the pound for pound fighter in the era right now, and he can continue to come back up. He just can't let uh, any of this bring down his confidence. You know what I mean? It was a great fight. Both of them were. We all need to applaud him for for making an entertaining fight, giving us action. You know, unfortunately for him, he wasn't able to win, but. Um, Man, definitely, uh, you know, when you're in that ring, you got to look at what you did wrong and, and uh, what you got to correct for the, for the next couple of fights. And we'll see, uh, we, we look forward to seeing him in the ring again. I believe that not only myself, but a lot of other fans as well. You know, with this victory over Sergey Kovalev being the meanest guy at 175, does Andre... Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, of, 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 of that time, you know, until Andre came up and said, I'll fight you. Yeah. You, know, you got to give the guy credit. You, you know, he, he did that. He pound for pound number one? I believe he deserves to be pound for pound number one. Yeah, because Ko Kovalev was a, was a great caliber fighter, you know, and he stepped up to the plate when no one else would, you know, to fight Kovalev. Give him credit. Definitely pound for pound. If you're Andre's promoter, Andre's matchmaker, who do you want to see him next? Mm, I don't know, you know. Um, I don't think Adonis Stevenson would want to fight him, but who knows? Um, I don't really know him, though. A lot of Americans don't know him. You know what I mean? So you wouldn't make any money. Superman, you'd make a little more money. I mean, not Superman, but under, uh, that's what he calls himself. Uh, Stevenson. Um, I still don't think there's that much money into it, you know, just because he doesn't have that support yet. But, uh, man, who else would I like to see him with? Triple G. If Triple G could step up, you know, uh, whether he wins or loses, step up. And, and well, he has to move to 75. It's too big, right? Who knows? Maybe he can come down to 160. I doubt it. But that'd be a fight that I'd want to see. I just don't know if it could be made. All right, my man. Thank you very much, as always. Anytime, man. Thank you.